is like take seven of my vlog this morning for some reason. Um, cheers to you. I just finished some turbo fire, and as you can see, sweaty mess. I also look like I got a tan, but I haven't been outside, so I don't know what that's from. Hmm. Look at that sweat. Um, sorry, you guys know I kind of define if my workout was good for me um, by how much sweat I'm, I have, and uh, by how much sweat I have, and of course, then I kind of just use this as a gauge. Um, but anyway, it felt really great. I'm just freshly back from my um, New York trip. New York? Yeah. I literally just had to remember where I was this week. What does that tell you? It feels like, okay. Anyway, so I um, wanted to come in here right away, and I can't lie, I haven't even stretched yet, which is naughty. But um, I wanted to come in here for a couple of things. First of all, there was something on my mind and it made me think this would be a really good illustration for you. Um, but um, I just burned 459 calories, right? Now, by the time I end up yapping here, I'll probably be at 500, which is funny. Shows you how much energy it takes for me to talk. But anyway, so I got home from New York last night, and um, one of the things I did this morning, um, had some issues sleeping last night. That's a long story I'm not gonna get into. Um, but I wanted to take uh, my man friend and his kids uh, a little treat this morning. So, ow! Um, I just twisted my arm in a funny way. So I went to Dunkin' Donuts and I got them donuts and munchkins and stuff. And I'm not gonna lie, because I'm gonna show you something in here. And I'm gonna make a point, which saddens me to make this point. <laughs> I can't lie. Um, I don't know if you, I don't know if I mentioned this on one of my last videos, but when Amy and I went up to Milwaukee for that COS event for the uh, Dara Torres headphones, on the way back down, I don't know if it was like right before Aunt Flo was coming, which she's been with me all week. Um, but we we were like halfway in the middle of construction, whatever, and I'm like, I really could use a coffee or something sweet. And so we went through, or no, I think it was Amy that said, I need a Dunkin' Donuts. And I'm like, you drink Dunkin' Donuts coffee? Sorry, nothing against Dunkin' Donuts coffee. People love it, and I know that they love going in and getting a cup of coffee that has cream and sugar like mixed in, apparently. I'm just so used to, if I'm going out, I get my Starbucks and I have it my way and we all have our preferences. So by no means am I going, ew, I'm just like, you know, it's funny to hear who is like a Dunkin' Donuts coffee person and who's a, a Starbucks person and so on. Anyway, so we stopped and one of my favorite kinds of donuts from when I was growing up are, and the man and I got into a whole discussion about whether a Long John is supposed to have cream in the middle or not. Not Bavarian cream, but frosting. Because when I grew up, if you got these bad boys, they had cream in the middle. See, now there's no hole for cream, but they were filled with frosting. Michael was like, um, no, they're not filled with frosting. So we actually Wikipedia'd it, and it showed two options. I digress. Amy and I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna have this little piece of frosting. Making a point, I'm getting to a point. Three minutes in. Amy and I stopped on the way home, and I had not had one of these since probably high school. I've certainly had some Krispy Kreme as an adult. But years and years and years, I never ate donuts as an adult. And then probably a couple years ago, some douchebag introduced me to Krispy Kremes, and I was like, so sometimes when Aunt Flo comes along or when I'm pissed off, I go get Krispy Kremes. And I'm also, like I've told you, not one of those people who's like, oh, I can only eat one, they're so sweet. I'm not gonna lie, okay? I've said this myriad times. I can put away six easy, and I could totally do a dozen. And don't lie and say none of you have done it, because I know someone out there has done it. Anyway, I hadn't really had Dunkin' Donuts in a long time, so we stopped, Amy got her coffee, and I got one of these. And I was literally like, uh, yes sir, can I have another, and another, and another. Okay, eating donuts is like eating air. It's just sugar, okay? We all know this but it's not gonna fill you up. And then you're literally, especially those of you that have read any books on this, when you eat sugary stuff on an empty stomach, there's like, this is, look it up people, there's like a chemical reaction in your body and you're like, you know, an addict, you're like, I want more. So I wanted more and more and more. And then somehow or another, I think when Michael and I were arguing about the origin of Long John's, um, it came up about how many calories were in them. And I think maybe he said, he's like, those are like 400 calories. And I'm like, no, they're not. 
And I said, a Krispy Kreme glazed donut is 190 calories, because of course I know, so that when I indulge, I can, ex I guess, hello, <laughs> I haven't had coffee yet. I know exactly what I'm eating, because I do account for them, or at least I try to. So I just happened to, I, I'm not gonna lie, so I picked up donuts for them, and I was like, okay, well, I'll pick up one of these for him and one for me. You know, it'll be like a treat today or whatever. And then I was looking them up, and I was like, they are 400 calories. One donut. And not to say that they're not distinctly pleasurable. One. This has a little bit. He likes chocolate, I like vanilla. One is 400 calories. I just burned, sweating my ass off, 476 calories. And this is making the biggest point. There's actually two points. Obviously, I haven't eaten it. Here's two things to consider. This is, again, what so many people do. So many people, I'm just gonna take these off, um, when they're dieting or maybe they're not dieting and, and they just think, you know, oh, I've, I've gotta lose some weight or I've gained some weight, and then they'll go, well, you know, I'll just, uh, like they'll think, well, I'll just walk the stairs a couple of times or I'll just, um, you know, park for, you know, they, they think just doing a little bit will erase you know, binging on donuts or happy hour with friends or, or a bad, whole bad week where you had burgers and fries, whatever. That's where you really need to realize, and this should in some ways encourage you, if you really pay attention to calories and, and just know what your nutritional values are of food, you can have stuff like this, okay, if you want. I'm not telling you, like if you're gluten free or you don't eat fake foods or sugar or whatever, but you know, you can have stuff like this if you're just aware, like aware that now, like now in my head, every time <laughs> I want one of these, I'll probably get Krispy Kremes to be honest with you, because I can have two Krispy Kremes versus one of those, and that would give me distinctly more pleasure. Anyway, if you realize like, I just worked out for almost a whole hour to burn 400 calories, right? That's one donut. Okay, and that just literally bring, it would bring me to, and technically, you know, you can't think of like, those calories negate this. If you ate nothing but junk and worked out, it still is inevitably gonna catch up with you. Um, but, you know, if you went to, say, Burger King, or you went to Chili's, I can just think of several things off the top of my head. Because I've made sure to look things up and be aware of what bad food is and what good food is, the nutritional values, okay? So if you, that's 400 calories and an hour, it took me an hour to burn 400 calories, okay? So if you had two donuts, and this is what I'm talking about, like extras. Say you're going along your, your weeks or your months and you just have, you know, say you start ha treating yourself to um, a donut on Monday and a donut on Friday, and then you add in a couple Starbucks here and there. And some of those Starbucks drinks can be four or 500 calories. You could easily, very, very, very easily be adding um, 1,000 calories to 3,500 calories in a week, easy. And that's a pound, okay? That's four pounds a month, and that's 50 pounds a year. Is that right? Four times 12, or is that 12, 24? Yeah, that's 48 pounds, right? If I made a mistake on here, I'm gonna look like an ass, but um, that's how things add up, people. That's how you end up gaining 20, 30 pounds, and you're like, what? And we all say, until we get on the scale, oh, I think I need to lose five or 10 pounds. Everybody doesn't want to say more than that, but that's how you can, how that kind of stuff adds up. You know, a beer here, a margarita there, um, you know, brunch with your friends, and then you don't pay attention to the Eggs Benedict, and then, you know, you have several Starbucks later on in the week, or Dunkin' Donuts, um, coffee, whatever. You know, you've got to realize, A, how those calories add up, and B, how much working out it would take to, to you know, in any way counterbalance that. And, and, you know, I mentioned a second ago, like somebody saying, oh, well, I'll just take the stairs and, you know, that'll burn off some calories. People, when I was staying in New York, I was on the sixth floor, and this uh, hotel was going through a lot of renovation. And so there was only one set of um, elevators. And so I took it upon myself, which was fun, actually, and cool, um, to take the stairs pretty much every time I came in. Even if I was in my business clothes and had just been a meeting, I took my shoes off and took the stairs. And I would be out of breath by the time I got up the stairs and feeling really good. But one day I did my workout, okay? And then I finished with doing several rounds of the stairs up and down. And you know, I was at like 500 calories, whatever. And then I rested for a bit and I was coming back down to the sixth floor and I thought, I'm gonna do one more round or something. So I still had my heart rate monitor on. I went down to the first floor, and by that time I was kind of maybe at a resting heart rate of 
120. So it was, you know, elevated, but not crazy. And as I walked all the way up the stairs, I noticed what my calorie burn was at the bottom of the stairs, and then I did six flight of stairs. That six flight of stairs, with my heart rate elevated, burned 15 calories. So I got to the top and I'm like, <sighs> and I'm like, 15 calories, okay? That's where people start to think that, oh, well, I've you know, been adding some walking, so you know, that's gonna justify those Doritos I had at lunch, or that's gonna justify that I went to Burger King. If you go to Burger King, and I, again, I'm just randomly picking anything. This could be McDonald's, Burger King, Taco Bell, but I know because my favorites are burgers. A Burger King um, experience, your typical Burger King experience is 1,500 calories. Uh, McDonald's, I think a Big Mac meal if with fries is like um, 900. It's less, believe it or not, than the whatever. Um, even if you go healthy, I've talked to you guys about this before. If you're not aware and you go through Arby's drive through and you order a market fresh turkey sandwich or a market fresh roast beef sandwich and you think you're doing good because it's on, um, you know, whole wheat bread and blah, 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 that's 850 calories, 790 calories. A Sierra turkey sandwich at Panera is like, 800 cal. Look this stuff up, people. Um, that kind of stuff, you can think you're eating healthy and then you're like, oh, well, you know, I did some jumping jacks or I ran for 10 minutes. If I run for 10 minutes, I'm probably going to burn 150, 200 calories max. No, probably not even, probably not even that. I'm thinking if I run like 45 minutes, I burn at my pace, I can burn about four like 300, 400 calories, you need to think about that. Keep that in mind. Now the other last thing I'm gonna close with, believe it or not, I'm gonna close. Um, this, one of these is 400 calories. And if I wanna, you guys, I'm gonna have a long john. Either, I'm probably not gonna have it today because I'm trying to get, you know, I don't feel like I was full on my game this week with my workouts. Um, but 400 calories for one donut. My typical breakfast when I'm not having, well either my overnight oats, which is a huge bowl, you've seen that, with coffee or a huge, you know when I make those huge things of um, egg whites, um, almost like a big omelet. So a big, huge egg white omelet, which I love, and I've told you guys, I tell you if I didn't like it, it's quite tasty. So a big, huge egg white omelet with my coffee and my oatmeal with PB2 in it. All of, I can have all of that for 400 calories. Maybe it might be 425. Or I can have one donut, which is going to leave me just wanting another donut, which would be 800 calories. So again, not telling you to never eat fun food. Just saying, keep it in your mind and don't think it's as simple as like, oh, I'm gonna have a donut every morning and then I'm gonna you know, take the stairs and that's gonna negate it out. If you're wondering why you still have a tummy pudge, if you're wondering why you're going up in size versus down, it's a mathematical equation, figure it out, and that should encourage you because then you can deduct accordingly. Okay, boom, I gotta go. I'll see you guys later.